Star Wars only, I don't know what the fuck your problem is. Star Wars has a history of what if scenarios. What if this director had stayed on Star Wars? What if this person had written Star Wars? What if this director had came in instead of this director? A lot of what if scenarios. And we have another one right here of what possibly could have been Star Wars Episode Nine if Colin Trevorrow had stayed as the director. Now there was a little confusion on whose script this was. If you remember correctly, and I know a lot of people won't because it has been some time since this news came out, there were different writers on episode 9. At first it was supposed to be Colin Trevorrow and Derek Connolly. They always worked together on their films and they were going to co-write Star Wars episode 9 together. But that script didn't go too well and so they brought in another guy named Jack Thorne who is a British writer. And I know he got some backlash for, um, I think it's called Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I think he wrote that script and a lot of Harry Potter fans weren't entirely happy with that. But he was brought in to co-write episode 9 and I believe he came up with his own script and his own draft for the film. And I don't think Colin Trevorrow and Lucasfilm were happy with that, so they kind of went their ways after it. But here is the Jack Thorne script, and this is coming from MakingStarWars.net. Jason Ward is the guy who wrote the article on this, and that's because he always has uh, pretty highly credible sources on this stuff. So here is the Jack Thorne script and the story for Star Wars Episode Nine. if he had stayed the writer for Episode Nine, The first thing this article talks about is the revelation of who Rey's mother is, and apparently it was supposed to be a servant of Leia Organa. It says that Rey had an interesting backstory. She wasn't a Solo or a Skywalker. Rey was going to be the daughter of a woman who was a cook, housemaid, and even a nanny to Ben Solo who turned into Kylo Ren. Rey and Ben were supposed to have grown up together and Rey was supposed to be like the little sister to Ben Solo and living together in the Solo household. The article also says that it's not clear if Rey's mom was let go because she was a drunk but it was implied that Ray's mom and dad fought at the Battle of Jakku before taking up domestic duties at the Solo family home. And that, I mean, that that's kind of weird, but... And it seems like the big climax of that script and the story in that Episode Nine version was supposed to be at the Solo family home where Han Solo and Leia settled down and Ray's little old Ben and Ray was also brought up by her drunk mom or something. <laughs> And apparently this is where the big battle happens where Ben and Ray fight it out and Ben is redeemed because of the family memories that he has at this home and he saves Ray from her injuries in the fight at that moment. And apparently there was a subplot with the First Order where one of the First Order villains was erasing people's minds and reprogramming them. And apparently Lando would have made a return in this version of Episode 9, but Emperor Palpatine wouldn't have. And then there's also the part about Leia actually getting a lightsaber. And there's going to be red stormtroopers, but they're not Sith troopers. And the film was mostly about Kylo chasing Rey around the galaxy. And he wanted her to become evil, and she of course wanted him to be good, but there was no romance between them. And there's a snow planet where the Millennium Falcon was supposed to be frozen. But other than that, that's, that's not too much. Now, when this story initially broke out, it was reported by Jason Moore that this was from Derek Connolly and... Colin Trevorrow's script and screenplay for episode 9 and Colin Trevorrow replied on Twitter saying that uh, not a single thing in there was ever in any screenplay Derek and I wrote not one thing but all the best to you guys I mean he was really nice about it which is good to hear so Jason Ward corrected his story and clarified that it was Jack Thorne's script that he was reporting on not Colin Trevorrow and not Derek Connolly's uh, co-written script and I think this is a uh, kind of interesting because I'm really happy it didn't happen you know I just the idea that Ray's mom was a servant to Leia, it's stuff like this where it's like, hey, I don't need to know everybody's parent heritage and whatnot. Like, could, could you imagine if, like, the big reveal on Anakin Skywalker's father, like, let's just say that Shmi was lying about him being born through the Force and it's revealed at the end of this that, oh... To me, really just got knocked up by a guy named Jim from the bar. I mean, <laughs> ooh, big reveal. Like, I don't need to know everyone's backstory. I really don't. I don't care who Han Solo's parents are. I really didn't care about Ray's parents until The Force Awakens made a big deal of who are my parents. And if Colin Trevorrow left the Star Wars Episode Nine due to creative differences, and I know a lot of it mostly had to do with the screenplay, if this is one of them, if this is the screenplay he was basically brought to from Lucasfilm and they showed him this and said hey we kind of want you to work on this one I would have been like yeah nah good luck you can give that to JJ I'm I'm not I'm not touching that 
Because that, that's just fucking awful. I mean, if I'm being honest, that's just awful. They, they have a big battle at the Solo family home where Kylo's redeemed from his memories of old. It might have been different if it was like on the Falcon and we got the hints of him growing up on there, but like, looking at episode 7 and 8, you don't get any indication about the Solo family home. We've never seen it. We don't know what it looks like. If he's feeling emotional about it, I would imagine we're supposed to feel emotional about it with him or for him. And it just seems kind of stupid to redeem a guy by simply bringing him back to his house that he grew up in. Like, what, what, how do, ah, uh, you know what, after killing my father and countless other people in the entire universe, now that I'm home and I smell my mama's pumpkin pie again, you know what, I'm having a change of heart. Come on, Rhea, get, get up, sweetheart. Sorry I cut off your hand, I'll help you out now. Like, what the fuck? I'd love to hear the Colin Trevorrow and Derek Connolly screenplay and script for Star Wars Episode Nine, because this one, if it's if it's accurate, which I'm, I mean, I trust Jason Ward. I, I think he's got great sources, but I mean, God, could it really have been this bad? Could Jack Thorne's script really have been this bad? I mean, maybe, maybe, but I mean, geez, if I'm being honest, I'm already happy with Rise of Skywalker compared to this one. People are already complaining about this film. They haven't even seen it. Imagine if this was the result of it. If they, if Colin Trevorrow was like, yeah, I'll use this screenplay and I'll make a film out of it. Oh, God, no. I mean, I, I oof. And we would have been done with it by now, too. Remember, if Colin had stayed on board for episode 9, the film would have came out in May of this year. So we would, geez, we would be debating that to this day. That would be a, a fresh thing on people's mind of how awful that possibly could have been. So you know what? Colin, if you did deny that script, if you were brought forth that script from Lucasfilm, or Jack Thorne, whoever wrote that, which is obviously Jack Thorne, but if he brought that to you and you said no, good for you. You just earned my respect because because if I was directing episode 9 and someone from Lucasfilm or someone like Jack Thorne came to me with a screenplay for episode 9 and said, here's how it's gonna go, I'd say, you can all go to hell, I'm going to Texas. Which is where I'm at now. So, yeah. That was, um... Pretty awful. Thank you, Colin Trevorrow, for not letting that happen. And thank you, Lucasfilm, for also not letting that happen. Because someone had the wits to say no to that. And, and thank God for that. So, tell me your thoughts below about Jack Thorne's Episode Nine script. Would you have wanted to see it happen? Are you glad it didn't? God knows I am. Tell me your thoughts below. I'm Star Wars Only. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And tell me if you enjoyed that script. Because, oh, that's a rough one. I'll see you guys next time, and may the Force be with you, always.